Hey guys, welcome back. So today's Chit Chatter Day. We have Chelsea's classic get ready with me with all kinds of fun. <laughs> all kinds of messes and things that go down, things we screw up together and so on and so forth. So if you are new, welcome. Please subscribe. Uh, get ready with me is one of my favorite things to film and I think it's one of your types, one of your favorite types of videos to watch as well because we get to just kind of chit chat and chill and get ready together. So we're going to be creating this look, obviously. And um, I wanted to do something peachy, pink, tonal. It's on trend for spring and it's just really bright and fun. Of course, you can get the lipstick up your teeth again <laughs> like fourth time um you can mix and match like if you don't want to do a super bright eye with all these colors maybe just stick to a bright lip put it together and do what i did or you could pair this with more of a nude lip whatever is your comfort zone i feel like this bright punchy lip is gorgeous and it's so fun for spring and summer and this is when I, the time of year i like to pull those colors out and you know just feel really punchy and springy and bronzy and goddessy and all that kind of stuff so roll tape all right, I'm going to start off with a little sample I got the other day of the Alginus Pore Correcting Primer. I've seen lots of people say that they love this, and I have a lot of pores all the time. And so I like a primer that's going to fill them in. I'm still in love with my Hourglass Primer, still really enjoy that. But you know, you always want to try something, especially when you hear several people say they enjoy it. I'm like, well, I'd like to get a sample. So I like the consistency of this, though, because it doesn't feel like, say, the Benefit one, where it's a little bit drier of a consistency. I don't really like the feeling of that one. And let's see, I tried the Smashbox one. That one's actually nice. This one feels a little bit more like a lotion, but thick enough that it really does, you can see there, fill in the pores nicely. I'm going to do a little foundation cocktailing today because I'm at the very, very end of my YSL here, and I just absolutely want to use this up because I've had it for way too long. And then this foundation, I don't know if they make anymore, the Tarte Maracuja Miracle. Not sure. I bought this off of QVC a couple years ago, so I'm going to mix these two, and hopefully it's going to be a good shade match. Ugh. I'm so messy when I apply foundation, and I get so nervous because I've chosen to go with a very light color scheme bedroom, and I've been waiting for, let's see, years to do that because my children have been small, and now they're old enough that, you know, they know not to eat in here or whatever, and... It makes me nervous though because I have my makeup set up and you're like, what was I thinking? I've been using this, like when I use a makeup brush, this is the brush I've been using consistently now for a few months. And I've had it for years. I just kind of, you know, got obsessed with something else, Beauty Blender. And I go in spurts of what I like to use to apply my foundation or to blend it in. This is the Sephora Pro Flawless Airbrush number 56. It's a little smaller. And I like that it's not flat because I find with the flat ones, it's hard to get into those crevices like, you know, around your nose and I just kind of like the shape of this one and it's smaller too so you can get a little bit, you know, into more precise areas. That doesn't make sense. You know what I mean. And with the Maybelline concealer, been on a mission to use this one up too. I'm, I'm in the process of like rotating out my makeup and so... I've put dates on the bottoms of things, and I just want to use up the oldest things first. And I've kind of always done that, but I specifically am doing that right now. Like, the past few months, I'm like, this is getting used right now, and the newest stuff, you're just going to have to be put on hold because I don't want my stuff to go bad before I can use it up. And that's part of the problem of collecting a lot of makeup is that can you possibly use it all? Um, and some things, you know, are fine to have for a while on hand. Other things like mascara you need to use and toss those types of things and foundations and concealers and I used to buy used to buy too much at a time and that was before I really knew much about makeup and and all that kind of thing so anyways when when you learn about things then you're able to make a better decision about it so I guess my decision now is to not buy 15 foundations at once and six concealers at once because I can't use them all you know I, I can only use one you know, one day at a time. So, anyways, that's kind of what I'm doing right now. If you see me using the same things all the time, well, that's kind of why. And it's not because I want to use it up because I don't like this stuff. I do. I do like this concealer. It's a great concealer. Uh, pretty good coverage at the drugstore. I have a couple blemishes, so I'm going to go in with the Amazing Cosmetics Amazing Concealer in the shade Light Beige. This is a little dark for underneath my eyes, so I'm going to use it to... I get hormonal zits, it's almost that time of the month, so I get a lot of hormonal things on my neck, which is just ridiculous, but 
I like to cover them up. By Terry Hydra Powder. I like to use this underneath my eyes because as the name suggests, it has hyaluronic acid in it, which is a humectic, skin humectant, basically. It's moisturizing. And it's not a drying powder for underneath your eyes, which I cannot have a drying powder underneath there. It just doesn't look good at all. So I like to do this powder. And this powder really blurs things. So it has a smoothing effect as well. Kind of like getting rid of all of those gosh dang pores. Do you see how it just blurred that out? Like, yeah. I have been obsessing over Pinterest and cooking and baking lately. I go in spurts of like what I enjoy doing. I mean, I've always enjoyed cooking and baking, but I've been loving the Great Britain baking show on Netflix. Or it's a competition, actually. My kids and I have been watching it together. And it just is making me want to bake. Even though if you bake, I don't have anybody besides myself to eat it. You know, I need to find some friends to give it away. I mean, I have friends I could give it away to. But I'm just saying, like, if you bake, you have to eat it kind of thing. And the kind of baking they're doing is, like, intense baking. It's not like, oh, I'm going to make some muffins and throw it in a pan. No. They're, like, going to go out in the backyard and pick dandelions and turn that into juice. And then puree it, whip it up into a mousse put it inside a muffin and then they're going to make like three other things and they're going to make three, four different tiers and they're going to stack it all together and it's like this. Wow, I want to eat that kind of thing. And my kids are like, we want to be the taste testers. I'm like, that's so funny that they talk like that because when I was little and I'd watch food shows, I always told my mom, I want to be the taste tester. <laughs> I just love food and, and my kids have already kind of, you know, they enjoy food and I've been starting to teach them a little bit about cooking and baking and whatever. And anyway, so... Totally been obsessed with that, which coincides with my obsession for Pinterest. And I've been making things on Pinterest. So if you go to my board, I've made uh, probably three things on there recently. Tonight I'm going to make a, a yummy salad with chicken and bacon and watercress and fresh, like a rosemary vinaigrette. And I made coconut chicken the other, other day. Oh my gosh, it was so good. So the recipes that are pinned to my board, uh, check them out because I've either made them or I'm going to eventually make them. Now there's quite a few on there, but I just sit and I watch the baking show and I scroll through Pinterest and I'm like, I need to make this and I need to make that. So I decided since my hair sucked to go out and pull weeds and mow the lawn this morning. Cause I'm like, well, I guess if my hair is going to suck, I might as well go out and get full of grass and dirt and grime and then go in and film a makeup tutorial. Oh, I can't stand my brows right now. I just, <sighs> so as I'm sitting here, when I look straight ahead, all I can see is my neighbor's four foot weeds blowing in the wind. Well, I guess the good thing about having a neighbor whose yard is unkept, it just makes yours, even when yours doesn't look as perfect as you'd like it to, look pretty awesome. I'm gonna prime my eyes with the NARS Portal Veneer Eye Paint. I've been using this. My friend gave it to me and it's just a good base. It's just a skin toned base and I like to use this brush. This is a Morphe E22. Buddy, you need to go potty. It's nap time. Today I want to do kind of a monochromatic peachy pink eye look, which is very on trend for spring. But I've been really into just doing like warm peaches and pinks and just simply messy. <laughs> like something where you can just layer tonal shades and somehow it turns out looking magical and all you did was just layer tonal shades. I like stuff like that. So I have grabbed a bunch of shadows where are my other ones? Oh, right there. So I'm going to play with, like, Makeup Geek, MAC, and Inglot shades today. But I'm going to start off with a shade that's close to my, like, skin tone here. So let's see what we got. I haven't actually used my MAC shadows in a while. Let's use this. This is Brulee by MAC. It's a matte cream color. <clears throat> this is Fora Pro 10, which is the first brush I grab for every single time. I just like how fluffy it is like how it just softly distributes color everywhere except this one's hill. You know what I did yesterday? Yesterday I put on makeup and I was going for like a taupey look just something really neutral and I grabbed a brush which was a dark color and it had sh purple shadow still in it so that soft neutral look was now a very smoky deep purple eye look and that's what I wore to the gym. So <laughs> moral of the story use one of these or like Especially if you're doing a dark color, at least like do this before you put your brush away. I'm going to start off with Pe Peach Smoothie by Makeup Geek. This one right here. It's a true soft peach and I'm about to hit pan on mine. Oh, oh boy. See? Hold up. 
This was about to get all over my face. <sighs> Chelsea. I'm so messy. It's all on my arm? What is this? And this arm. Awesome. Yeah. Everywhere. Yeah. Peach smoothie. Oh my gosh. It's a wonderful, wonderful color. Soft peachy shade to put in your crease. And honestly, out of all of my eyeshadows that I own, and I own a lot of eyeshadow, I don't have anything that's this exact color. So it's definitely a must-have for Makeup Geek. I think anything that's super unique to a brand, and you really like the, that t like tone or whatever, I think you should just buy it. <laughs> like, that's like my philosophy. Now that I've collected a lot of makeup, it has to be more of a unique item, or it has to be something similar to what I have, but I know I'll use a lot because I really like that type of shade or that type of product you know what i mean now i'm gonna go in with my favorite well of, of all the inglot shades that i own this is my favorite i reach for it the most let me get this off so i put the names and numbers on this because when you buy this from inglot there's no names and once you put the pants in here the number of the shadow is on the bottom and this is they're really hard to get out of here so i put them on this and I'm going to be using, I believe this is, let's see, hold up. 361, 361. It's like, kind of like a lighter version of my shirt, but a very brightening matte peach shade. And I'm going to go in with, let's wipe this dirty brush off. We've learned our lesson yesterday. The Chiki Hoto GSN 9. Nope, GSN 10. So pretty. I suppose I could zoom you in, huh? This color is so pretty. I might have to fix the lighting here a little bit because I'm going to turn my ring light up because the sun goes in and out and I don't want it to get too dark. All right, now I'm going to go in with, oh heck, let's use this red. Let's get crazy. This is a Weva 227 Lux Definer. Let's see, it looks kind of like that. And I'm going to use this red color, which is 366. 366, and it's a matte. It's like a matte, corally color. I like the Zoeva brushes. Quite a few of their eye brushes, and I really like them. For an affordable brush, I definitely recommend them. 407. Looks like that. I have this other one here. It's like, oh, maybe it's a little darker. So, yeah, we'll go with 407. Careful, I got a weapon in my hand. And I'm going to put that on, mm, not all the lid, but the GSN 9 and GSN 10 I use every time. Ooh, this is orangier than I thought. It's okay. Ooh, it has a pretty, like, uh, kind of, like, metallic-y. Not like crazy metallic, but just a little bit of a fiery finish. I like it. This is Gleam by MAC. It is really pretty. And I feel like I should wet my brush to use this, though. Let me go get some Fix Plus. My face kind of feels like it needs a little Fix Plus today anyway. So, all right, Gleam. Ooh, that smells good. Alright, now I'm going to take a little bit of the same colors we used up top. I'm going to smoke out that lower, that lower lash line. So I'm going to start with this corally red color here. I do like this brush for underneath my lower lashes. It's, it's a pencil brush, but it's really soft. And it comes to a point, but not... It's not sharp. You use nylon. It's a super nylon. <laughs> it's a very bold brow highlight. But I'm feeling ballsy. I mean, my eyebrows are crazy today, so let's just make the eyes bold. I 
I think this look calls for some liquid eyeliner. I haven't worn liquid eyeliner in quite a while. I've been just doing like regular eyeliner and like the smudgy eyeliner and stuff. But this look is calling for it. So I'm going to have to pull this closer to myself so I do not jack up this entire look with my eyeliner. keeps getting thicker and thicker this side's okay this side's like just like my brows this side's okay this side's like no I'm gonna do a tiny little bit of mascara here Guerlain maxi lash I love this mascara it's really good it is a spendier mascara but I really like it this is just a sample size obviously eyeliner high impact custom black Kajal to be exact why won't you twist up twist twist oh there we go and I like to put it up under here to make every see every seeing to make every seeing seem sicker and younger these are the house of lashes pixie Lux lashes and then I just did my last mascara and then I took a little bit of the NARS larger than life Rue Bonaparte which is the flesh tone and put that in my waterline. Even though I don't really need my eyes to look bigger because they're already kind of round, I just, I did it. Too late, done, moving on. Uh, so we're gonna use the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Bronzer. They're coming out with new shades. Did you guys see that on Instagram? Uh, this is the Luminous Bronze Light, which is the lighter of the two. The Radiant one was darker, and I always use the same brush. This is the Real Techniques Multitask Brush. I just like it. I like this bronzer, it's really pretty. It's really soft. I love all of the, I just like the formula of Hourglass powders in general, like their bronzer, their highlighters, their blushes, their ambient lighting powders. I just enjoy the formula. It's very effortless. Okay, we got to take that bronzer down a little bit here because it makes my forehead look smaller if I bronze down a little bit. Muscle shirt I recently hauled from Victoria's Secret Pink and then in the back it's just that. If you're wondering what I'm wearing, they're so comfortable. I bought two colors, the blue one and this one. I love this one. I just think it screams spring and summer. And there is mascara all up in here. Let's do diffused heat because I just love it so much. Let's see, blush brush. No. Is this a blush brush? You know those, those late night YouTube sessions when you're laying in bed and uh, you watch a couple videos and all of a sudden you're on the Sephora app, you're on Nordstrom, you're on Beautylish setting up three easy payments, you know. I know you do the same thing. I know I'm not alone in that. Right here. Oh, this is so gorgeous. This is, I bought this a few years ago. I think almost three years ago now. And I love it in the summertime when I'm wearing like peach and peach and peach and I have a little bit of a spray tan going on and a real tan it just is gorgeous they have different tones too so if you're not into like these peachy colors you should be um, but they're really pretty on love it oh yes hourglass ambient lighting powders and this is a Wayne Goss number 14 we're gonna take a little bit of dim and a little bit of incandescent Just kind of shimmy it all over the place here. Oh my gosh, this brush right here, this number 14, is bomb. I use it for all kinds of things. Blush, bronzer, um, loose mineral powder. It just blends everything. Like normally I would never do this with a, any other brush because it would move stuff around. But this doesn't move anything around except the product you're applying. And it's just gorgeous. have to do this. This is a requirement if you're going to do Fix Plus. You have to fan yourself. I'm serious. You have to fan yourself. Max Pro Longwear High Energy Lip Pencil. Ah, oh, needs to be sharpened. I don't want to take the time to do that. Oh, how inconvenient. All right, I'm not certain if this is the color I want to go with. So we're going to put it on, 
And if I don't like it, I have Plan B. But this is, uh, hmm, what is this? Kate Lipstick by Rimmel, number 110. Why do my lips have to be so chapped? Ta-da! <laughs> we made it through, and oh my gosh. I tipped part of my tooth again. <sighs> All right, guys, the finished look. I love how it turned out. I'm really into these peaches and pinks and reds and oranges, and play with it, you know? You don't have to be afraid of a red eyeshadow because you can blend it out so it's really soft and it just adds a little punch of color. It doesn't have to be super intense. You don't have to do the lashes. You can just... Make sure you get the uh, lipstick off your teeth hard. Um, but yeah, I love how this look turned out. I think the lip is good. I could go lighter. You could definitely do more of like a nude. But I feel like my best look is color. I look best with a little color on my lips. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And we will chit chat very soon. Bye, guys.